Alright guys, so uh, today we're going to take a quick play through a game that I haven't played in a little while, and that is Giga Wing. And this is one I've been sort of neglecting lately, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And you can see the, uh, the special mechanic here is your reflect force, which allows you to reflect bullets, and then you collect uh, metals, which will uh, increase your multiplier. So uh, there's several ships to choose from here. Uh, honestly, I always go with this one. It's the fastest one. It's got, you know, fairly strong central shot. This one is slow. Uh, this one apparently you can you can score really well with, but I, I just can't get used to these sort of uh, lobbed uh, grenades or bombs or whatever that is. And this one is slow as well. So for me, definitely want the speed. Um, this gameplay is probably not going to be great, but... So they're gonna show you how to do stuff. It's a two-button game. If you hold the first button down, you got you get the uh, bullet reflect, but then it has to recharge down here. Okay. You can see there, and then you get the metals, increases your multiplier, and that's okay. how you get uh, some pretty serious scores. So the big thing is, first of all, you don't want to destroy all the enemies necessarily, because you need. Uh, you need some of them left to actually shoot at you. Um, the other thing is that you know you, you kind of want to time it out as best you can with the, the bullet reflex, and it's not always possible, but um, you know if you can, you want to try to time it out so that uh, you get the most sort of bang for your buck there. I'm not doing a great job of these metals here, but I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to talk and play at the same time. There's an example of just trying to pick up some extra metals there. Sometimes I focus on the metals, sometimes I focus on just surviving. You know, it just kind of depends. Depends on the situation, I think. Poor timing there. Let's see if we can do better this time. We'll wait for just a minute here. So you can see sometimes too, if you have poor timing like that, then your, uh, you know, your next couple of uh, bullet reflex are kind of messed up. Now in the boss battles, you want to have kind of a balance between uh, shooting the bosses and reflecting bullets because you don't want to kill them too quickly because you can sort of get a little bit more score out of them if you uh, try to milk them a little bit here. This one, for some reason, I can't seem to milk all that well, but I haven't practiced uh, in quite some time, so... So I'll give it a little bit of time. Usually, for some reason, the purple ones uh, in this particular pattern, I don't get as many uh, as many points off of. So I usually just wait a little bit, just like that. Okay. Kind of keep track of the time. Make sure that you know we're not not about to lose everything here.
probably could have milked that a little bit longer, but. And at the end, of course, you have your percentage of boss destruction, which is a big part of your score, uh, and the percentage of enemies that you killed in the stage. And then all that, uh, you know, you have your multiplier applied to all of that stuff, depending on the metals that you picked up. Couple medals there, at least, you know, a little something. And there's the bomb. They're different for each character, um, so it's not always going to be the same. It just depends on which ship you choose and what type of bomb you like. Um, this particular ship has a very uh, concentrated bomb in front and then a few side things that kind of take out smaller enemies. And I probably could have done that a lot better. Let's see if maybe... The other thing is sometimes it's uh, it's easier if you kind of lure enemies into a certain position and, and that sort of thing. If you can sort of concentrate their fire at a certain area or the reflex to a certain area, then a lot of times you're able to do a lot better in terms of scoring, getting your medals to kind of all appear at the same place on the screen there. And I don't really have a plan <laughs> at this point, so... Um, I could pretend to be an expert, but I'm not. So I'm not, I'm just gonna sort of play for, play for survival at this point. And who are at our second boss? These side arm things really kind of piss me off. So usually when they come out like that, I just I just get rid of them immediately. Because um, like I said, they just really and there's another um, example of me messing up the timing there. It's something you really have to get a feel for. Okay. Alright, now there's our second box. And the sound also is usually better on this if you have it connected directly to the PCB. Unfortunately, I don't have that right now. I just have it hooked in through the JAMA harness, so it's a little, uh, a little fuzzy, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. And I also forgot to mention that depending on which uh, ship you choose, the stage order will actually change. So. Uh, this stage actually is the first stage for some of the ships. Of course, it won't, it'll be uh, less difficult than this version of it, so... It's another little uh, sort of personal preference thing there. Like I said before, I don't have a uh, whole lot of plans here. Oh yeah, this is the sort of secret guy who I guess is the real bad guy in this game. I, I don't really know. I don't know much about the story, but he keeps showing up here and there, messing stuff up. So, just kind of take care of him quickly like that, and you can get back to the stage.
And at this point, really, all I'm doing, since I don't have much of a plan, is just trying to, you know, grab all these enemies uh, quickly. I'm actually kind of saving my reflex for a lot of these larger enemies that come out. And, uh... And I always got the finger on the bomb button, just in case. Although I had... Oh, I missed that large metal there. Although I admittedly have a tendency to resist the urge to overbomb. And try to sort of, you know, force my way through there. Although the other thing is, you, you do want to make sure that if, uh, you know, if you have the bombs, you may as well use them uh, at certain, you know, certain junctures where you need them, because they will give you extra ones, and if you die, then, you know, you, you've lost that extra bomb as well, so. So do bear that in mind as well. Alright, and I'm terrible at this boss, so I'm probably going to use some bombs here. I think it's a problem that the, uh, the screen is, is uh, horizontal, but it's a vertical game, and then you're, you know, the, the uh, boss itself is actually uh, in a vertical orientation there, so it's hard to, um, hard to get a whole lot of focus firepower on this guy. That second form here. I think the fact that my shots are red too, and the uh, this pattern actually is fairly easy to dodge. You just have to stay close. Um, it's just a little dangerous. I'll throw another bomb at him because I don't really feel like uh, dealing with too much of this. There we go. So that's not going to be a great score on that particular boss, just because uh, you know I, I should have hung around a little bit longer, tried to get some more points. But at this point, I'm just trying to you know stay alive a little bit longer. All right, and now this is where the shit gets serious, and I'm probably going to die over and over again. So just be aware of that. That's one of the things that's interesting about this game is that the um, your normal shoot 'em up skills are definitely applicable, but there's also another sort of set of skills. So you're trying to avoid bullets sometimes and then not avoid them the others, and uh, you know, or you could just run into a big bunch of them like that. You like that much. So anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be terrible at this stage, but at any rate, you know, you definitely have to develop a different, you know, a different set of eyes for these uh, Takumi games, especially. I should mention, this is also one, if you're looking to get into shoot 'em ups that's pretty easy to find. You can actually get it on Dreamcast, and uh, this was released in the West as well, so... Um, Oh, we're close there. So anyway, uh, this was released in the West as well, and um, you know you can get it pretty cheap, honestly. Uh, I should have waited on that one. Yeah, I think there was one up there that I missed, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can get this pretty cheap on the Dreamcast. Definitely one that I think is worth uh, looking into. A lot of fun, and you know, just oh, kind of different. It's a, it's the uh, the reflect mechanic is very different from from other shooting games. 
It's definitely not, not one of your traditional ones, but a lot of fun nonetheless. Um, I guess I'll try to play this one the way you're supposed to. You can just shoot at the middle uh, section here and actually sometimes get lucky and actually um, beat it without actually destroying all the pieces as you're supposed to. So, we'll see. I was gonna try to do this the right way, but I don't, I don't think I have stamina in here. Yeah, and that's what happens. Um, I guess I can... I use A continue. See if I can uh, get rid of this guy real quick. Uh, I'll only be using one though, so... Alright, so there's that. It's funny, it all goes well until, uh, until the end there. <laughs> and of course my score uh, goes down to nothing. So, let's uh, play a little bit of this stage here. And I will not make it through this one, I can guarantee you, and I'm not going to continue again. So I'm not a huge fan of, you know, the gratuitous continues. Yep. The other thing to, uh, to bear in mind is that your, your reflect actually takes a minute to, uh, to begin. So you actually don't want to do that. <laughs> you want to... Uh, you actually want it to start it a little bit before you need it to go. So you kind of have to have a plan, and especially in these later stages, uh, you know, it's it's just, um, it's really something you want to have planned out. So anyway, this is Gigwing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.